One more for the collection. Ooh, Tears Vault is behind that magical lock. Okay, I know I saw something. I saw it too. Rhea did say the Jotunheim Realm Tower was missing from the land. But maybe only kinda? Very strange indeed. Okay. Obviously the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than us. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. But still, he robbed her of a warrior spirit. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. So Odin robbed Freya of a warrior spirit? Aye. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. So would I. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. I'm feeling creative today. Well, when you do need something, I'll be around. <laughs> I still can't believe a son would kill his own father. That's crazy, right? I know, we only got one side of the story. But come on, his own father? I mean, I get angry at you sometimes, but- Do you? I mean, sometimes, yeah, a little. But I'd never stab you in the back. No, I imagine not. This clan really didn't want anyone coming in. How are we supposed to get through? There must be a way to lift the gate. Maybe with the big water wheel. My thought as well.
I guess sometimes when you don't think I can do something, but I can. It is not always easy to know what. It's okay. I get it. I'm little. Where's that whetstone, I wonder? Hey. 
brotes. What happened over there? This is the sun. That ghost son? How do you know? The sigil. It matches the dagger we found in his father's back. He stood his ground, but it was not enough. They betrayed him. Betrayal begets betrayal. My guess, the young one murdering his dad didn't sit well with the others. He thought himself ready to lead. It cost him his life. I guess. Look there, lad. By his feet. The whetstone! Yes. They used it to smash his face in. They did? Ew. Hmm. Prepare yourself! Yeah. Ha!
Ready yourself! Focus up, boy! Jingles have very specific priorities. If it's not shiny and you can't eat or drink it, might as well use it as a blunt object. There's a scroll here. It belonged to the sun. Wow, this goes on and on. Father, forgive me. Filled with remorse. Forget my actions. Hmm. Had he thought before taking action, there would be no need for regret, yes? Yeah. Maybe we should bring this to his father. Back at the storeroom. Hmm. <laughs>
see something down there. I have a question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? I'm you didn't happen up to later. find the whetstone, perchance. We found your whetstone. Oh, wonderful! This staining is unusual. The Reavers used it to smash another Reaver's face in. Oh, wonderful. Here, for your trouble. I can't wait to test out the new whetstone. It may not look like much, but it's practically humming with magic. I've needed a new one after my brother borrowed the last one. I saw him spit on it. To lube it up, he said. I didn't ask for it back. Can you start that story again, from before? If I recall, we had begun to discuss the origin of Ymir, the first giant. In the beginning, there was Ganungagop, the great boy. There were no realms yet, only primordial forces. There was fire, and there was ice. And there in the void, they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water, Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. 
It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Emir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. With Emir's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. He called himself All Father as if he was the creator and not the creator's destroyer. The small, covetous tyrant. Emir? Huh? Oh, sorry, my boy. Uh, you know, I think at best we just end it there, actually. We can beach them out here. What are you fools doing back here? Come to pilfer my boots and small clothes. We found your son. He... He was betrayed too. And we found part of his journal. It sounded like he regretted killing you. <laughs> Fat lot of good that does me. How'd he go out? Did I fight him? We found four corpses near his. They were decapitated. Ha! <laughs> Vandrid always did keep his sword nice and sharp. A lesson he picked up from me. <sighs> he's a backstabbing bastard, but... Knowing he's in Valhalla sets me at ease. Thanks. We did a good thing. I'm glad we came back here. That thief did not deserve the peace you gave him. Maybe so. Still, it feels good to help people. Even the dead ones. Hmm. So much like your mother. <laughs> 